You can finally use Sora 2 without an invite code, and you're about to learn how to create any video without a watermark using just one tool, which also lets you add a realistic AI avatar and clickable options on the screen. It's true. I'll present your video. And you can add Sora 2 clips. To take your content to the next level. You can even let your viewer decide what to do next. Sora 2 is now available inside Synthesia from any country, so you can just type in any prompt to create videos in minutes. And inside the Synthesia editor, you can also take your Sora ideas to the next level. Follow the link in the description, and once you're in the dashboard, there's a few different ways to make Sora videos, and the easiest is to select new video, open up a blank project down here at the bottom and you'll be dropped into the video editor where you can see that it's automatically added an AI avatar onto the canvas as a presenter. And to make the avatar speak, all I need to do is type or paste a script into this box at the bottom. But to just have a raw Sora clip on its own, I can just delete the avatar from the canvas like this, then go to the media tab at the top of the screen. And in this drop down menu, you can choose to generate footage from either VO3 or Sora 2. Then it is very, very simple. I just need to describe whatever video I want to create. And Sora can generate some pretty complex things with music and multiple different shots edited together. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste a prompt describing an advert for a futuristic flying car that flies through the streets and lands in a showroom with a voiceover over the top of the shots. When I'm done, I can hit generate, Give it a few seconds and my clip has been added to the media library. Now I can just select it, which drops it onto the canvas and I can just move it around and click and drag the corners to make it fill the frame like this. And now let's take a look at the result. The future is here. Now, the cool thing about creating Sora videos in Synthesia is not just the fact that it gets rid of the watermark, but it also lets you create multiple different clips and stitch them all together to create longer projects. If you use the main Sora app, it not only adds a watermark to every generation, but it only lets you make one eight second clip at a time. But in Synthesia, I can make much longer videos. I could just go over to my existing scene, right click and select duplicate. Now I'm just gonna click and delete that previous Sora clip and I can generate a new one back up in the media tab. I'm gonna add a prompt for a clip showing the driver inside the flying car and add that to my canvas to resize it. Then I'll duplicate that scene, remove the previous clip and go back to the media tab one more time where I'm gonna add a prompt for a video of some robots working on futuristic cars in a factory. And once I've resized that one to fill the frame, I can export all three of these as one continuous video. So you can create some pretty sophisticated videos just by typing in some prompts. But what if I want to turn this montage into a sales video for the car? Using Synthesia, I can add an AI avatar to speak to the customer and some interactive options on the screen, which lets people book a test drive from my website. The future is here. What would you like to do next? Take a look behind the scenes or go ahead and book a test drive? Our factories are changing the game. To create an interactive video like this, I'm gonna add a new scripted scene and open up the templates library. And as you can see, there are a lot of different options with different layouts and animations, but I'm gonna select this one, which has an AI avatar and two button options underneath. Next, I can add a script for what I want my avatar to say down at the bottom, and I can customize the text for the buttons. I just need to double click the text boxes on the canvas and I want this first one to say factory tour, which will link to a clip of the robots working in the factory. And the other button is gonna say book test drive and I can link that button to my website. And to make these buttons clickable, I just need to select the first one, make sure the interactivity switch is turned on on the right hand side and I can then choose where I want to link my button to. So I could select an existing scene within the video from the drop down menu or I can link to an external web page. It's as simple as that. And if you want to learn how to create your own AI clone to present your videos alongside your Sora footage, you should watch the video on screen right now.